Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for our second week of NFL, Sunday football, 15th of September. Uh, got a bunch of player props. We're going to get right into it. San Francisco at Minnesota. Uh, went back to this. We played it last week. Juan Jennings, receiving yards over 19 and a half. Uh, you can get it at 18 and a half at uh, Ben MGM, I believe. Get it down to 16 and a half. Always alt line and get it the lowest you can get it. Uh, have multiple books if you can. It's the best way. Find the best number, the best odds. I believe his number was at 16 and a half last week. Easy cash. Had uh, 64 yards versus the Jets. Uh, I'm not expecting something crazy like that, but should easily go over to 19 and a half. He got his receptions at one and a half, but it's highly juiced at uh, minus 150. So that just goes to show they're going to say he got at least two receptions. Uh, no need to really spend more time on this. Juan Jennings, 19 and a half yards. Let's get it. 113, FanDuel. All right, second play. We're going to the fullback, Kyle Juszczyk. Receiving yards over six and a half on DraftKings. Minus 115. They got it out at seven and a half on uh, FanDuel. Damn, four and a half. I got to get a Ben MGM. They got a lot of low numbers, I've been noticing. I do have it. I got to throw some money in there. Should have did that. Shit, four and a half. Uh, definitely have multiple books. Now that NFL started, I'm, you know, it's better to utilize it. Uh, WNBA barely got numbers anyway, lines anyway, so uh, I've been slacking. But uh, play the lowest number you can get at the best odds. But uh, last game killed this number. Uh, 40 yards versus the Jets, couple plays. Uh, I had him at the anytime touchdown plus 900. When I even before I heard McCaffrey got hurt because I kind of knew he was iffy, and uh, he had like a 25 yard catch, landed at like the one yard line. I was like, oh man, but uh, I don't expect him to have crazy yards, but just one pass, you know, teams literally disrespect him. Or at least they did last game, too, and uh, just let him run, and uh, they made him pay. So, uh, and he can catch. So, one catch, one reception, we're clearing this. Let's get it, Kyle Juice check. Uh, Wright's playing, had an awesome game, the running back, uh, rookie running back, and Caffrey's still out, so uh, I'm sure he'll go over his number at, like, 49 or whatever it is. Uh, can play that as well. I just uh, I got a lot of other plays. I just left that off. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. Receiving yards over 23 and a half. Minus 113, Fandle. Playing Tampa Bay. Uh, receiving yards at 30th overall to the running back. It says ranked fourth. But, uh, Last year, I mean, we only really have last year besides the one game. Last year, uh, Gibbs smoked this. 40 he had uh, this year. He went over it at about 30-something, I think, right? 34. But uh, I pick a lot of players like this, running backs, if they got like, decent numbers and I know they can catch. Um uh, so like the receivers are locked down, they just do a, you know a check down, a couple check downs they got it, or you know a couple third down, key third downs that they need to to get that first down. 
You know, check it down. Gibbs got speed. He got hands, quickness, make the first guy miss. Uh, capable of going over this one play. So uh, let's get it. Jamari Gibbs receiving yards, 23 and a half. Cash, the number was lower. He was at nine. Uh, bumped it up to 13 and a half. He had 15, I believe. But, uh, we Daniel Jones is playing. You know, Singletary could be a safety blanket. And just like I said with the last play, a couple check downs, third downs, or he needs to get something going. He's not hitting his receivers. He's missing throws. It's the easy play, safety blanket. Uh, I know Singletary, I'm a big Bills fan. He was on the Bills for a couple of years. Uh, traded two years ago, I believe. Last year he was on, not the Titans, uh, Team Diggs went to. But uh, then he got switched to the Giants this year. But uh, he didn't catch it. He wasn't catching that great when he was on the Bills, but otherwise he got a little better at it. But... Uh, he has some rock with it. Uh, playing Washington, Washington overall, 32nd receiving yards to running back, 28th. Now, this is last year. But, uh, yeah, should go over it. One or two catches. All right, at this time, I'd like to ask you if you could like that video. New viewers, subscribe. Everyone turn on your notifications. This way you get all my plays, my live bets, uh, my videos, any news and info I got. I try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, so you, you get everything that I do. Uh, first and foremost, I am a sports better. And uh, since I'm doing this day in and day out, why not try to help people? As well as uh, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments, so we get the videos out there. As well as some feedback, interaction. Let me know how you're doing, if you're cashing, you're not, uh, if I should change something. But, uh, yeah, a lot goes into this, you know. I'm new to, to making the videos, so it takes me a while to record and edit and make the thumbnails and all this shit. But uh, as well as, you know, I don't just use Outlook, uh, Outlier. There's a lot of other sites I use. Team Rankings is a good one for stats for everything, actually. Gives you a whole bunch of data, uh, compares the teams, uh, weather, you know, travel, a whole bunch of shit. Uh, always start off with checking the lines. Always got to check the lines. Line movement is key in sports betting. You know, it's in, narrow down the games to pick just by looking at the lines and checking the line movement. But uh, there's a lot of stuff that I do. Behind the scenes that you guys don't see. I may just show outline it, but you know, by me doing it, you don't have to. So, uh, in the first week, I'm about 80% hit rate. So, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, let's get that money. Appreciate it, everyone. All right, Brian Robinson Jr., receiving yards over 10 and a half. Minus 120 DraftKings. About to really start, I gotta load up my bet MGM and Caesars. I'm realizing that they've been having lower numbers and amounts, lower lines. Uh, receiving yards over 10 and a half. Now, I looked at who Washington played last week, and uh, or Giants rather, and running backs are able to get some yards. Uh, as well as Robinson last week had 50 yards. What do you have? How many receptions? Uh, come on. Three receptions last week. Four targets, three receptions. Can't complain, right? Uh, they got one and a half receptions, highly juiced, and 154. You can learn how to read the books. Uh, they got two and a half plus money, so they trying to say he's going to have at least two. 
right, 10 yards. You should easily finish this. Let's go. Let's get it. Brian Robinson. All right, next up, we got Isaiah Likely receptions over three and a half. Played at Fandle 112. Uh, Bet MGM does have it the lowest. Playing Vegas overall last year, 18th in receptions at a tight end, 23rd. Uh, he killed this last game, first game. Had nine receptions. Uh, you know, Jackson, he's doing pretty good this year, too. Always been doing good, but uh, he's utilizing who's open and doing what he can. And uh, I expect him to go over this again. Maybe not get nine, but uh, he should go over it. Two and a half is highly, highly juiced, minus 270. Three and a half is minus 110. Uh, four catches. Could play his yards, but I think his yards are. Uh, oh, what happened? They might be changing the odds. His yards are at 40. And uh, I mean, it's, it's possible he could go over it. He did go over it last week. Killed it last week, 111 yards. So, yeah, that actually might not be a bad idea. I doubt he'll get even close to that number, but uh, I just figured three and a half receptions. Four plays throughout that whole game, and you should go over it. All right, so let's get it. Say likely. All right, uh, Justice Hill, same thing, been going with receiving yards over 12 and a half. Uh, Fandle, 113. He's a running back. Always a line shop, multiple books. Stay saying that. Uh, 52 yards last game versus Kansas City. Uh, going back to last year, he's cleared this for the last five. Uh, he's exceeded 13 and a half, five of his last six games. Uh, I just think the number is too low. A couple of little check downs, just like I've been saying. Uh, third down conversions, anything. Easily go over it. Uh, well, they got his receptions. Two and a half. One and a half is minus 240, so they're expecting two. Two receptions. Easily should go over 13 yards and break that out in one. Let's get it. Justice Hill receiving yards. Gabe Davis, uh, ex Bill, big Bills fan. Guys should know that by now. Uh, first year with Jacksonville. Uh, it's a good deep threat. Long reception could be a good idea, but uh, decided to go with his yards over 32 and a half. Minus 128 FanDuel. He has 62 in his first game against Miami. Uh, Jacksonville got a couple of receivers, but Gabe Davis is going to be utilized. And like I said, he's that deep threat. You can get this at one play. Um, a couple of receptions last game. Highly juiced. At, right now, it's highly juiced at uh, two and a half. So they're trying to say he's going to get at least three. He had three last week. You know, capable of going over this. Let's get it. Gabe Davis over receiving yards. Uh, I all lined it back. I always all lined it back. 32 and a half. Receiving yards over 32 and a half. Uh, number went way down. Wonder why. Open at 47 and a half. Uh, maybe they, if people know sign out on. Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, 32 and a half. I feel like it's a steal. 
I don't know if nobody was betting it and that's why it dropped or some news that I just don't know about. He had 138 yards first game this year versus the Philly. Uh, multiple receptions. Four receptions last year. Uh, last game, as you see, basically have at least four receptions. Going back 10 games. Uh, highly utilized. He can catch. He's got speed. Can make the man miss. Uh, 32 and a half. Jumping on it all day, every day. Let's get it. Jaden Reed. Right, last but not least, Romeo Dobbs receptions over two and a half. Minus one oh nine. Uh I played it on FanDuel one eighteen. Definitely gonna start utilizing better MGM and Caesars and stuff. They have lower lines. Uh had four in the first game versus Philly, as you see going back to last year, last ten games. Averaging three, four catches, easily clearing this. 80% hit rate for last, the whole last year. Um, playing Indiana last year, they were receptions 14th. The wide receiver ranked 11th, so I guess they was, had some good uh, safeties and corners, but uh, they're going to get this. Romeo Dobbs, two and a half. They got one and a half, highly juiced at 340. So they're saying at least two. Uh, I just think the books, so many plays to bet on, too. Uh, There's a lot of key players. Uh, you know, name, uh, main name people and stuff. Uh, I try to go a little bit away from them because the books get their lines pretty high. Always use all lines. If you ever notice, you win by a little, lose by a little. If you use an all line and bring it back, it helps you win. Uh, as well as, uh, I'm going to drop some, some uh, touchdown, anytime touchdown parlays and uh, some same game parlays. I'll drop them in the community. And uh, look out for my live bets. I had a couple good ones last week. Uh, Always pick apart them books, committing sportsbook robbery. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.